It's probably the greatest fear most have about growing old, losing your memory. Not just where you parked or what you just ate, but where you live, whether you're married, even the faces and names of your children. It would be devastating. It's a growing concern. From battlefield trauma to strokes to dementia, more than one million Americans are diagnosed each year with brain disorders that cause moderate to severe memory loss. But now scientists may have discovered a way to strengthen or restore our ability to make new memories by hacking into the brain and writing code to boost it. It's called prosthetic memory. We're trying to bypass or support the normal memory encoding function in the brain. Neuroscientist Dr. Robert Hampson headed up a groundbreaking study at Wake Forest University Baptist Medical Center in North Carolina. See a picture that looks familiar. Here, a small group of patients with epilepsy agreed to have electrodes inserted into a part of their brains called the hippocampus. When the hippocampus is damaged, we have difficulty making new memories. The patients played a game involving memory as the electrodes recorded their brain cells firing off in a unique pattern of code. The content of memory is coded in a digital code and the hippocampus is the part of the brain that creates that digital code. Neural engineer Ted Berger at the University of Southern California has studied the formation of memories in the hippocampus for more than 20 years. Using the patient's unique codes, Berger designed a mathematical model that predicts how the brain cells fire to form a successful memory. Together we can identify those neural codes. We can see them for the first time. Using the electrodes, Professor Hampson and his team played each patient's unique code back into their own brain. The codes boosted the patient's short and long-term memories by nearly 40 percent. We were surprised at how successful we were. This work is clearly still very preliminary, but the goal is that one day a tiny pacemaker will help brain injured or Alzheimer's patients form new memories or strengthen ones they already have. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.